Oops. Hi guys, I'm back again. So I just got done putting the journal together, which I should have recorded that part where I put the, the uh, signatures in and I did not. I didn't think of it till it was too late. But um, first let me start by apologizing for the the lighting. I know it's not that good, but it's already I think eight o'clock out here. And um, so I wanted to do this video um, because I'm, I'm working on a little bit of ephemera. As you could see on this one here, I went ahead and did a little uh, postcard sort of deal. So I'm using some of the um, leftover papers that I did not use and um, some stamping. And uh, I figured you could journal in the back over here. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I figured, oh, let me turn on the camera. So, um, let me show you. Um, this is the book. This is the cover. I did want to show you this. I love, love, love the way it turned out. Look at that. Sorry about the lighting, guys. But, oh, uh, look at that. I love it. This is the, the spine. And then there's the back. It's yummy. I love it. I love it. I love it. So there's the front again. Um, I need to go up still and do the edges. I have not done that, but I did put the signatures in already, which I still need to cover this part. What I did is I used um, a piece of um, uh, file folder. It was like about a four inch piece. And so I, I center it, added my signatures, scored it um, to fit it in. So it's it'll open nice and flat, as you could see. And uh, yeah, this is the book. So I started doing a little bit of decoration. This is from one of the pages that I just cut out and this is gonna be a tuck. But I haven't really done anything on the inside yet. I did go ahead to stencil. Uh, I know uh, the person that ordered it wants gears and stuff like that. So I did go ahead and dis um, dis stenciled around the um, coffee dyed papers. So yeah, so now I'm getting ready to do the decorations. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you the cover real quick, but I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it, too. So I threw that aside for now, and like I said, I, I still need to uh, fussy cut a lot of stuff. As you can see, I've been cutting them in small pieces so that I could, uh, you know, sit and fussy cut. But I want to, um, what do you call it? I want to start um, embellishing. <laughs> So, let's see if we can make a couple of uh, pieces. I'm using my vintage photo. I'm sorry for my gloves. I'm putting it not just for my hands, but mainly it's because it's cold in here. Um, I need to get a heater out here. But um, for those of you that don't know, I'm working from the garage and it's getting cold. So... Yeah, I'm going to need a heater out here very, very soon. So I was thinking of adding this piece here. Where? Here's my book. Push that back. Get me some space. And then I, I had, um, I had, um, printed out a lot of images from the kits that I'm using, which Artie Mays is one of them. Um, Shabby Dabby Doodah is one of them. Um, but, um, okay, Artie Mays is this, her steampunk journal kit. Um. Shabby Dabby Duda is Marvelous Men. I think that's what it's called. And uh, the other kit. I think it's from Dreams Etc. 
and um, uh, okay, I didn't get to the edge. Darn it. So, um, uh, you should see. See, I got ink all over. If I was to take off the gloves, you guys would not want to see that. But, um, yeah, I went ahead and um, I printed out a lot of stuff. And Hubby said my son dropped some water. But I have a feeling it was him. Crazy man. He's been helping me. Um, what do you call it? He's been helping me cut a lot of stuff and distressing. So he's been a great help. Okay. i got to sew these. I just put a little bit of a... Uh, Actually, these were supposed to be something else, and I never did it. Heck, I don't even know what it was going to be. <laughs> but they had, uh, you know, collaged already, so I went ahead and used those for this project. I figure, oh, part of the work's already done for me. Okay, so I'm thinking that, and um, like I said, I'm not sure where I'm going with it. I just want to sit here and play. Um, see some of the papers that got wet. I went ahead and cut the images. And saved whatever was good to play with. So I need to reprint these. think so not that one these are from um, shabby dabby doodah's kit so I, like I said, I cut whatever I could save. I'm not sure about the white. Unless I distress it. But yeah, hope everybody's doing fine. I should put this one. I'm doing good. I again have the sniffles. Like I said, this weather's crazy. It gets warm in the day or in the morning, and then at night it's freaking cold. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Just uh, finished um, uploading um, a video, well, three videos of how I put the cover together. So now I just need to do ephemera, my pockets and stuff to decorate. Um, and I wanted to use, but then oh, now I don't think it goes there. Um, I have a lot of bits and pieces here that I've cut, but they're not cut all the way. But I did finish cutting these. So behind and so much stuff, guys. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do. 
And do I have, I feel like I need some tickets and stuff. Well, that one's too big, I think. So yeah, I think I need some like tickets and um, it's weird because I like using lace and stuff and I feel like it doesn't go with steampunk. I think this video is just going to be about me breaking my head, pretty much. Oh, what if, see I have tons of stuff I still need to cut. As long as I make one thing, I'll be happy. Do that. I kind of like that. Um, what about? I need to find my little set of scissors that cut, you know, different ways. I think that would be so much easier and cuter for these stamps. I want to put this down, but I don't want to cover the steampunk. But I kind of like that, though. And then I want to sew around it. But I don't know if I should leave that there. Let's see. Oops. It's hard to work with long long sleeves. Really? You don't want to work? Okay. We'll let you sleep. I'm thinking 
that there is at an angle. And then And what if some numbers, numbers go with everything. this at the bottom and then maybe 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 and these washes that I'm using are from Tim Holtz but that one's kind of thick So I'm thinking, mm -mm. I was thinking here, but I'm going to have to cut that piece off. Or tear it off. That worked. Okay, I like that better now. I don't know if I want to add a seam or something. But I do need to cut those off. Mm. Okay, I'm good with that one. I just need to sew around it. Um, another one that we can do. This one doesn't have a flap. So I'm thinking. Push that over there. Um, on this side. Let me see if I can make this work. Because I already cut part of her off. And I have a feeling I'm going to cut her face. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll work.
distress the edges. And then what else do we want to do? Mm. Those are way too big. Kind of like that there. I'm going to make this halfway. Cut that piece off in a bit. And what else can we do? Yeah, I'm in frame. Um, what else can we do to this? This is what a confused soul looks like. <laughs> That's me. What if we put a little girl next to her? No, that'd be freaky. Uh, hmm. Now I feel like I'm stuck. I don't like anything. Where is the, oh, this is the other half, or should we cover her face? Okay, I don't know. What am I going to do on this one? I'm not liking anything. What else is in here? I have all kinds of itty bitty stuff in here. Oops. We can have some of these. Black rose. Oh, my goodness, really? This is not cool. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that alone. Because I don't know what to do with this one next. It needs something. What? I'm not sure. So let's see. Okay, I like that one better. So let's put her there. Oh, come to me. Now here, I'm thinking one of these... Um, 
Let me cut the edge first here. One of the edges that um, did that edge. Um, I think I would have to use a bigger one. Yeah, I think this one's probably going to be better. Yep, I'm putting that one there. With this cold, my glue stick feels so hard. I have to press to get it to come out. And this one. right there then get our scissors and cut the excess Not sure if this may come in handy. Mm. Let's see this one. I didn't really have to do anything to it. Those are always fun. A collage has already been made for me. Now the back, I need to put maybe a piece of coffee dyed paper for journaling cover up a little bit of that so see but yeah I think I'm going to leave it alone oh up there and the things on the table sorry my husband popped his head in here so yeah this one I'm just going to sew it add some coffee dyed paper in the back and that one should be fine. I could even use it as a tuck. Now this one. Glue that down. This one, whoops, push that. My sleeves keep knocking stuff down. I was thinking maybe using a gentleman here. There's that guy, and then there's this guy. They both look good. 
Um, there going through my washi tapes here. Just giving it some texture. I'm going to put glue stick. Actually, no, I need to sew him because then the lines are going to show on the back. Pop. Ow. Pop that over there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave him like that. I'm going to sew on the image first and then glue it down and then sew around. So I'm popping that one. I like that one as is. Um, here's another one. Maybe we can use this guy. What else do we have? Okay, let's see what we can do with this guy. He needs to be in here. Check my time. Oh, shoot. Let me see if I can hurry up. See, there's this one too. There's him too. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
See, I like a more without the blue. So let's stick with him. Push that over there. But we need to add gonna get the distressing to put glue on the back okay let's see sorry if my head's in the way guys okay We need some awesome washi tape again. Okay, I better stop because it's going to go to a new video. But I will glue him down and sew it. And then I'll see you guys in the next video so we can continue. Thank you so much. You guys have an amazing rest of the day. God bless. Bye-bye.